The TerraFlex HD Chromoly tie rod and the HD Forge drag link kits feature a heavy duty ball joint. A well maintained ball joint will last for an incredibly long time. But if you need to replace the HD steering ball joint, this video will show you how this is done. Install the correct ball joint for the vehicle you are driving. Please note the JL and JT HD Chromoly tie rod and HD Forge drag link kits have an anti-wobble ball joint. Make sure you replace it with an anti-wobble ball joint. Do not install anti-wobble ball joints on both sides. The JK steering ball joints have a wobble limiting design on every ball joint. Remove the tie rod or drag link from the vehicle. As you can see, we removed the tie rod end from the tie rod. This means that we will need to recenter the tie rod when we reinstall it, but it is a little easier for one person to manage just the end. Remove the snap ring on the back of the ball joint. Make sure you wear your safety glasses because the snap ring can go flying in any direction. Remove the old alignment pin. Note that on the JLJT ball joints, only the anti-wobble ball joints have a pin whereas all the JK ball joints have a pin because of their wobble limiting design. Use a ball joint press tool to remove the ball joint. You can also do this on a hydraulic press if you have one available. Just be careful not to damage the housing. Take the new ball joint and remove the dust boot by pulling while twisting. Place a little grease onto the pin and place it into the groove of the ball joint housing. The grease will hold it in place. Set the ball joint into the tie rod end. If the ball joint will not set into place, run your finger along the set screws. These set screws need to sit flush with the housing. Do not force the set screws to tighten. If one of the set screws will not sit flush, then remove it until the ball joint has pressed in. On the tie rod end, the ends should both be set in the same direction, meaning they will appear as a mirror image of each other, as shown here. On the drag link, the ball joint on the bent end will face up as shown. The flipped drag link will have the drag link bend oriented in the same way, only with the ball joint facing down. With the ball joint oriented properly and the alignment pin lined up with the groove, press the ball joint into the tie rod using the ball joint press. Make sure that it seats all the way. Take your time and make sure everything is aligned up so that you do not damage the ball joint or the housing. Install the snap ring, again, wear your safety glasses. Make sure the widest part of the snap ring covers the alignment pin. Put the dust boot back on, pushing down while twisting. Put the spring onto the dust boot. You want to avoid stretching the spring as much as possible. Reinstall your tie rod or your drag link back onto the vehicle. 